Hi there. Welcome to the first session um, of our addition and subtraction strategies. And hopefully you'll find this to be valuable and just know that as we continue through these sessions, they will continue continue to build from one to the next. Um, so hopefully you'll have a better understanding of that progression of these strategies throughout the grade levels. So our first session here is on number bracelets. And our focus is going to be really to use number bracelets to build that relational understanding. And that goes along with recognizing the importance of the parts and the whole. So the tool we're using are number bracelets, but the idea of the part and the whole is really going to be able to um, be generalized and applied to other tools such as 10 frames and 10 towers. Let's take a little bit of time to look at this quote. I think oftentimes we will say our students just don't have number sense or my child is struggling and doesn't have a sense of number um, and let's just think about that in relationship to what we'll be discussing today. Number sense is a good intuition about numbers and the relationships. It develops gradually as a result of exploring numbers, visualizing them in a variety of contexts, and relating them in ways that are not limited by the traditional algorithms. So we can see that a big par part of developing that number sense is really understanding the relationship between the numbers. Let's take a look at the connections to core and that relational understanding. So you can see that oftentimes in Common Core language, you're going to be asked to use math strategies based on place value, properties, and that relational understanding. What's the part? Where do you see the whole? Kindergarten, for example, they'll be decomposing numbers within 10 where they are taking, for example, seven objects and they're finding all the different ways that they can break seven into different parts, for example, two and five, and three and four. So it begins there. First grade, we have understand and apply properties of operations and the relationship between addition and subtraction. Notice that they're talking about teaching those together. Yes, addition is much easier for kids, but we need to teach addition and subtraction together in a way that they see that connection between the numbers. And then in second grade, you can see once again that they're fluently adding and subtracting within 100 using strategies based on place value, properties of operations, and that relationship between addition and subtraction. So it really is about that part-whole thinking, and that's, that's what we're going to talk about today. All right, so let's take a look at these number bracelets. So I'm just going to show you how students make these bracelets or bands, and they're simply made out of chenille stems and pony beads. Um, and having the students make these is a really valuable experience for them, especially at that kindergarten level. So let's take All a look. Right, so to make a number band, you need five pony beads and a chenille stem. In this case today, we're making a number bracelet or band for five. So the whole amount that's going to be represented is five. So as students are building, I remind them of that. I say, check and make sure that you have five, because this whole bracelet represents five. So once all the beads are on, I model to students how to go ahead and close up the band or bracelet. And I ask them, double check, and let's all make sure we have five. And then what they can do with this is, they can show the parts. So show me one way to represent five in two parts. So here you can see we have three and two. So there's lots of possibilities for the number bands. So you can see how this band represents the whole and then it can be divided up into parts. So when kids make these for the first time, we'll come together on the carpet and I'll ask them to divide their band into parts um, by moving the beads and I'll ask them how many do we have all together, what's the whole, what parts did you create? They'll pair share. So some kids will see that someone created, you know, two and three to make five versus someone did one and four. And we have those discussions. I'm really the questioner and the facilitator while they're discovering. And then we record that. Okay, together as a group, we record the picture representation and the equations. So here you'll see kind of what these look like. These are simply labels that were cut apart and put around the number bands. So once we've worked with five, I collect all the five bracelets, put them into a Ziploc, and we 
use those for a variety of things. Um, later on, um, whole group activities that we do, we might pull out the bands as our tools. Um, we might put them into centers, so um, they are used then later on as well. So here are some possible recording sheets because you can see that we went from the very concrete and now we're going to that pictorial representation as well as you can see the equations are written here also. So when we talk about differentiating, a lot of kids will do it physically first and then move to that pictorial. Many times kids are ready for that um, equation or younger kids sometimes first represent it with one and two is three for example and eventually we add those symbols in once they have meanings to the students um, but how they represent it is really how they can be a working at different levels so I'll be providing the recording sheet for the number bracelets if you so desire you can use those so really when we think about number bracelets we're thinking about the parts in the whole but I think one place that um, it can really be powerful as well as when we start talking about the um, unknown addend problem. So really when we look at our bracelet, we have a whole of five and we could cover up two and that's the missing addend. Five equals something plus three, for example. What is the unknown? What is the other part that I'm hiding? And I think this can be a great tool to connect to that unknown number because that in and of itself then leads into that subtraction equation of 5 minus 3 equals 2 as well. So um, great way to use this tool. So hopefully that was a helpful quick little um, session for you and I have a handout that I've typed up that relates to the number bands as well as the recording sheets. So if you go to our K6 website under Resources tab, and then Addition and Subtraction Strategies, you will see number bracelets and bands listed to find these resources. Thanks for joining me today, and I hope that was a very helpful session for you, um, and hopefully we'll see you in session two as we move into number bonds, which um, are really, once again, um, moving towards that part-whole understanding